when it comes to certain pieces of the heritage and the history of certain brands and Louis Vuitton being the first, first luxury love of my life whenever it comes to handbags. back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am back with another unboxing. Yes, I know. But today is my first ever vintage unboxing. I have to be honest and say that I am not a huge vintage lover. I know that vintage is having a moment. It's a real vibe at the minute. And there is a big call for vintage bags, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes. For me personally, I'm not a huge vintage lover but there was a piece of vintage Louis Vuitton <laughs> that I was dying to get my hands on. And I suppose if I am completely and utterly honest with you, this is because of my collector tendencies. I, I do like to collect things. <laughs> These are generally bags that I use. I don't generally buy bags that I don't think that I will use, but I do have to fight my collector tendencies. Whenever it comes to, and you guys know I've talked about this before, I really struggle whenever it comes to times to decide to let things go. I struggle going through my collection, realizing what it is I use and don't use and letting go what I don't use because I get so sentimental Sally attached to it. I want, it there as art as as part of a collection to collect and that's nonsense it's foolish whenever it comes to this price it's absolutely not sound financial advice from someone who likes to talk finance it's crazy but when it comes to certain pieces of the heritage and the history of certain brands and Louis Vuitton being the first first luxury love of my life whenever it comes to handbags. We all know the never full story. Um, I had wanted to get my hands on this particular type of vintage piece to have, I suppose, if I'm honest, as part of my collection. This is not a bag I foresee myself using a huge amount. I feel it's probably more for me as a piece of art. I already know where I want this to sit. If you watch my other channel, Amelia Rose Talks Finance, you'll know it's a different background. That's my home study or my office. It's currently being decorated so it's being made more me and it's being made more a space that I spend a lot of time in and I um, wanted to get a piece of this really for in that room and I know I am in a very very privileged position to be able to do that. I know that's going to sound very wasteful to some people. I will use this occasionally but I will not use it a lot and I know that from the outset. Um, I suppose it's like someone commented in one of my videos before we buy art. I, you know I, there's art in people's homes. There are decorative pieces that are there really just to be viewed as pieces of art and they're there to be aesthetically pleasing and they're there to be part of your decor and I suppose there's a big part of this bag is that and my best friend if he's watching is again throwing things at the screen because he said no he said no Louis Vuitton decor nah we're not listening to you <laughs> he's calling me a little beep right now and I can see it without it even being in front of me um <laughs> But, you know, we buy, say, Jonathan Adler pieces and pieces of art that goes in your room or pieces of decor that are also equally expensive to decorate a room. And I just wanted a piece of this. I think it is a piece of art and I'm absolutely delighted to have a piece of it in my collection. I wanted to find a... I'll show you. I'll shut up and then anybody that wants to just see what it is, I'll show you the bag and then I'll tell you the rest of the story. So it is this fabulous, fabulous black multicolour speedy in the 30 size and it's just superbly stunning. Look at those colours. Like, I am a colour person, you know this. If you see my background, I adore colour. This is just, this just speaks to me. It's absolutely stunning. Now, it's probably a bit bigger than most of my bags. It's actually quite heavy. It has an organiser in it at the minute. It's quite heavy. I don't think it's something that I would use every day, but I absolutely love it and wanted it almost as decor. 
Now, I would also like if I could get my hands on in excellent to very good condition, which is hard whenever you're looking at vintage pieces, but the little vintage Nano Speedy, uh, I think it's the Speedy HL or whatever, the, the in the black um, multicolour, and I would, act, I would wear that. I think I would probably use that um, quite often. It's a little bit like the colours in the, the Super Mini there. But, so if anybody is selling a uh, black multicolour little tiny nano in very good condition don't feel be afraid to jump into my comment box or in uh dm me on instagram but this beauty the reason that i eventually went for this one is because the condition of this bag is fabulous there is next to no i'm going to show you up close there is next to no wear on this color there is no fading around the edges the hardware for being vintage is in fabulous condition. The patina on the Vachetta is honey. It's even. It's golden. It has the little Louis Vuitton crochet. Is that what you call those? It has the corner stud, not stud, metal detail, which is in really good condition for the age of this bag. But it's really the condition of the canvas and the condition of the colour in the print. It's absolutely fab. It's, it's beautiful. This was also, I feel, because I had been looking at these multicoloured pieces and checking out the price range, this was very, very well priced. And I bought this from a company called Bags Chase here in the UK. And I'm going to tell you, this is not sponsored. This is not gifted. I am... I bought this bag, I paid for this bag with my own money, so it hasn't been sent to me, gifted. Um, so, but the reason I want to tell you a little bit about this company is because I get asked by you guys so much, where do you trust as resellers? Where do you buy your bags from if they aren't brand new? In the UK, Fashion File, uh, now this bag here is from Fashion File, I can see it in the background, but Fashion File is difficult in the UK because of the customs that attach whenever you bring the bag into the country, so it can uh, work out to be very, very expensive. But one of the things I really like about Fashion File is their returns policy. There are not that many consignment stores or Instagram sellers or places to get bags like even Vestier that have a returns policy, which is why this company just struck out to me. So Anna owns Bags Chase. She's the lady that owns this. It is UK based. Whenever I was looking at this bag, she sent me a video of this bag first and I can tell you, having now received this bag and checked it, that the video she sent me is the exact condition the bag is in. She showed the little scra scrapes that are on the hardware, but she showed all around the bag so you could see exactly what you're getting. I did also, I had been looking for this, I had looked on many of the vintage websites. The price of this bag was very, very reasonably priced compared to the price these bags are going even on eBay and those bags were in much less condition than this bag is in. So definitely I thought her pricing was, was very reasonable. I also really liked that she accepts returns within 14 days. If it's an item that's on sale, she takes returns within two days. The, and as I say, I paid for this bag. So this is not that this is gifted and that's why I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this because I think this is a good potential reseller or not she's not a reseller a consignment or vintage store for you to add to your list to look at if you're looking for bags she takes refunds on a sale item within two days or on a normally priced item within 14 days if you noticed when i showed you around the bag it comes with this little purple tag and if you want to res or to return it sorry this needs to stay on that's how she knows that it hasn't been used and you can return the bag within 14 days she does send the video and whatever photographs you need before you bought it. She also sent it by Royal Mail Special Delivery. When you check out, you put in your mobile number and your email. So I received both a text message and an email confirmation that this bag had been shipped to me. I then received a further confirmation on the day that it was going to be delivered. She checks in with you on Instagram to check that you have received it, to check that you're happy. Coincidentally, whenever, and I am happy to share 
small businesses whenever I feel that they are actually a good resource to share. So this is not, as I keep saying, this was not gifted to me, but I would like to let you know of the experience that I've had in case you're looking for vintage or pre-loved bags. She has just launched a new website which gives more detail of her stock. It is very professional, I thought, and I'm not the best at technology. You can check out on the website. You can pay by the major bank cards or you can do a bank transfer. She gets a lot of her sales because I've been chatting to her on Instagram since sold me this bag. So that she did tell me that she gets a lot of her sales from live Facebook and Instagram stories and sales on there. She gets a lot from her Facebook group, from her Instagram, and she sells on those platforms as well as now having this updated website. So I wanted to let you guys know that because I think it is a good addition and I will be adding this as addition to bags that I would buy or places I would buy from as a pre-loved bag. I love the fact that she takes returns. She doesn't at the minute take PayPal and the reason she explains that to me is because she does accept returns and if you do a return by PayPal, PayPal do not refund the seller the fees. So it's a big loss for a small business. She is a small business. Another thing that I like about this business is she is working to become sustainable. She reuses all of her packaging and she's working to get away from plastic bubble wrap etc to get more sustainable and eco-friendly um, packaging and I think they're all really good um, pieces of information to have about a business and this I keep saying this is not sponsored because I'm paying for this bag and I know that it probably sounds like it is but it isn't and it's just to let you guys know that especially in the UK where we do not have the same amount of consignment or resellers or fashion file as they do in the US that it is a good um, place to know. The bag on the inside came with she actually sent it with this organizer already in it which is fab because I would ha I would have had to have bought the organizer I would I want it to sit up like this because I want it to sit on the shelving that's going into my study and it also comes she sends with all of her bags if I can find it this little gift to her um purchasers and it is a bag sorry about the noise this little bag hook and the BC on it is for Bags Chase, which is the name of the company. And you can see across the top that it has the website. And what this does, if you watched Connor's recent video from the closet, I love Connor, go check him out. He was talking about dining in Sydney and it was a bench and there was nowhere to put your bag. So we ended up carrying a pouch. This is to fix this and I, I have one of these already, but they're always very handy to carry. You set this on the table and then you hang your bag from underneath the table on the hook and it means that you're not setting your bag down on the ground. So that's just a nice little touch, I think, to add in for anybody that is selling. But I wanted just to give that info whenever I did buy this bag pre-loved because I get a lot of questions and and questions and answers, hmm. questions and comments from you guys about buying pre-loved and where I do buy pre-loved. I did a lot of research in respect of seller reviews before I bought it. I was very much comforted by the 14 day return policy the bags in exactly the condition that it was told to me to be in and I as I say I like small bags for my everyday use that is not the purpose of buying this bag this to me is a piece of Louis Vuitton history it's a piece of Louis Vuitton iconic canvas the multicolored canvas I didn't have the money for it when it first came out I missed out on it I wanted it in very good condition it is going to be a piece of art in my home and I hear you bestie but I don't care <laughs> it is going to sit and I'm going to love the look of it and it's just going to make me happy and it's a piece that I wanted to have I think it's fabulous I wish they would bring it back and there you go that is my first vintage unboxing here ever I've never bought vintage before I do buy pre-loved but it's the first bit that I would say would be vintage and she is just look at her she is just stunning those colors just make my heart sing just calls my name I just love it I just absolutely love it so there you go I will leave the details for bag chase in the description box in case anybody is interested in checking them out I have to say my experience was extremely positive I always feel it's great where you can return a bag if you're unhappy and I'm just glad to give you guys that information. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. It's a little bit different for me. It's not something you would normally see, but the collector in me just couldn't resist. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.